a piano? Have you heard from your mum? Uh, no, no, not a word. She's dropped you right in it, hasn't she? Yeah. Yeah, no, she has. Oi, oi. Where are they? I, I don't know. Have I got a mug written across my head or something? Hey, you seriously expect me to believe that your mum and Mitch have done a runner in my cash and they ain't told you where they're heading? They, they, they didn't say, Phil, you persuaded me to back off. And I did. So we're quits on that front. Yeah. But it ain't right that Sharon should pay back that 50 grand, especially when your mum is living it up somewhere. So that debt is now yours. You owe me 50 grand, you understand? I thought I'm no longer public enemy number one round here. Sorry, is um, Bonnie working? Yes, darling. Look, cheer her up, will you? She's had a face like a wet weekend in Bognor the whole day. Are you looking forward to the stag? I hope everything's organised. I um, even bought myself a, a new party shirt. Yeah, you did, you? Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. Oh, come on, everyone, let's go. Bernie. I don't want to talk to you. Bernie, don't be like that. In the last few weeks, I have lost my job and then half my family, and that is your fault. So, yeah, I will be like that. Sharon? Hey. Did you manage to speak to Bernie about going shopping with me? Uh, no, no, not yet. Well, someone needs to be looking out for her, given that your so called mother's done a runner. Yeah, well, uh, I really appreciate you not calling the police on her. Well, it's Phil you need to thank for that. Apparently, he used dirty money for the ransom, and I wouldn't want it to backfire on him. Yeah, well, it would help if it did. Now that he's uh, said that the 50 grand is now my debt. You what? Mm. Keanu, this isn't just on you, OK? It's on both of us. We'll find a way to pay him back, I promise. Yeah, Sharon's got me chasing RSVPs for the wedding. I'm pretty sure I've already done it, and I? All right, Stace, can I get a hot chocolate, please? I heard you were back. Jade was looking for you earlier. Did you find her? Yeah. It's at Zaire's tree, paying her respects. Doesn't really want me around. I wish you not the only one. What'd you say? Maybe you still are public enemy number one, after all, eh? Why don't you shut your mouth? Oh, right, come on, boys, put your handbags away. Hey, do you want Jade to see you like this? Go calm down. Don't want to make an enemy out of me, boy. <laughs> How you doing, darling? Did your brother mention about us going shopping together? Buy you an outfit for the wedding, maybe? Oh, uh, well, Linda's going to come along, aren't you, Linda? Yeah, make a it. You know, that, that, that sounds nice. Yeah, thanks. Great. <laughs> you know what makes me sick? Karen used to say, oh, I'm such a good mum, and she leaves both her kids here to face the music. We really need to make sure that Bernie's involved in this wedding. Yeah. Oh, and I spoke to George about the food. He's going to price up a couple of different options for us. So you're going to invite him to the stag? I mean, should I really be having one now that I owe all this money? I mean, none of my brothers are coming. Is there? I don't see much of a point. We can't let this ruin our wedding. I told you we're a team. You, me, and Albie. We can face anything together. Always nice to see a son taking his mother out for a drink. Say that again. Oh, 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 I was just making a joke. You're a scumbag, you know that? You just can't help yourself, can you? You should use the door while you still can. I know, I know, I'm barred. I honestly didn't come here for any trouble. Although you've got some with me now, boy. These are not worth it. 